Facebook, Facebook profile mo. Profile, profile, photo ka pa na tayong dalawa. Tapos, tapos, ngayon. Hi guys, I'm your Veshi Lowell. Welcome back to your HR Veshis. This is vlog number two. How to write an awesome resume with feelings. <laughs> It's just that a resume is a summary. A CV is a detailed version. So, mas mahaba. Parang sa relationship lang, merong long term, merong short term, panandirian lang, isang gabi lang, tapos kakalimutan ka na, pag next mo, huyo ka na. Go for tip number two. Get a template that provides a clean and sleek format. And remember, there are a lot of information that you must be able to put in there. Number one, your name, your contact details. Second, the role that you want to apply for and why you should apply for that. Maganda din ang font. Pero po, wag yung mga cute na font. Normally, what you can do is to use a sans serif and serif fonts that are used in a formal setting. And syempre, kapag creative role ka, kung kaya mong gawing poster. Ang yung resume, pwedeng-pwede yun. Pero, normally, and of course, generally, and technically, please make your resume formal. Para pa naniligaw ko lang. Di ba formal-formal pa kayo? Close kayo? Inaplay mo? Number three, structure. Always put your latest experience on top, especially if you already have a work experience. Well, obviously, pero kung fresh grad ka, syempre, on top is your educational attainment. If you have internships, if you have part-time jobs, it would be nice to also include those. Pero if you are already experienced, move on na tayo sa educational background mo. It has to move a little further below the resume. Parang sa relationship lang, di ba? Pag pass na, pass na yun. Kalimutan mo na. Huwag nang binabalik sa present. Ang dapat nasa simula, ang dapat pinaprioritize mo. Yung current. Yung current. And let's go for tip number one, two, three, four! So, aside from the format of your resume, naku, ang dami, ang dami nagtatanong ito. Ito yung mga... And syempre, kailangan yung photo din po ay formal. So, one by one or two by two photo. Pero generally, you don't really need to have a photo in your resume. Alright? Tsaka na yung mga pa-Facebook, Facebook profile mo. Profile, profile, photo ka pa na tayong dalawa. Tapos, tapos, ngayon, wala na ba na? Na. Tip number five. This. Another tip, Beshi, is to use terms that are understandable across the industry. Because sometimes our companies tend to give us titles that are very grand. But sometimes naman, companies give us titles that sound lesser than as compared to what we are actually doing. So it's okay for you to write a title that is commensurate to what you are really doing. Mm, at least, dito pwede ka mag-assume, di ba? Hindi ka tulad dyan sa crush mo. Minsan, nilalove yung story mo. Minsan, kinaklap. Minsan, pinafire. Fire, fire, fire. So, ano ko? Hot? Ano ba ako? Lechon? Hot? Ganon? Hot and spicy? No, kung century to na. Pero hindi naman nagpaparamdam kung talaga mong crush ka. Beshies. Ah, sorry. Babasak sa nga letter. So, yun na nga mga beshies. Dahil syempre, alam mo na ko ng format, may structure ko na rin. Eh, nung content ng iyong resume. So, pagdating sa content ng iyong resume, kailangan 
nandyan yung mga rolls na mga nagampanan mo na before. At ilagay mo na din, syempre, dun sa mga past experiences mo or maybe your current experience, your roles and responsibilities. And please, one to two sentences lang, hindi po paragraph. Dahil hindi po job description yung nilagay ko dyan. At hindi ko naman sinabi kung bakit kailangan mo ko mahalin. Ang gusto ko lang malaman, bakit? Bakit? At ito na nga, Beshi, how do you make your resume stand out? I have two tips for you. Tailor fit your resume to the job that you're applying for. Dapat basahin mo yung job description. Sometimes, Qualified naman tayo sa role. It's just that, hindi na ma-match yung job descriptions natin na nilalagay sa resume sa hinahanap ng recruiters. Tip number two is to put bullet points. Sabi ni Beshi Jamie kanina, at dapat may clear job description kung ano yung basic expectations sa'yo. Yun yung first after your job title. But after that, consider adding bullet points for your achievements and projects. This will show that you go above and beyond what is expected of you as an employee. So, my suggestion is to quantify your achievements. Hindi enough yung ilalagay mo lang na I've created this, I've created that, I've initiated this, I've suggested that. What is the impact of those projects or initiatives? For example, if your project reduced the turnaround time in processing a specific transaction or you have increased the sales by 50%, so dito, Beshi, magbibilangan tayo, hindi ka tulad yun ng jowa mo. Ay, ako nagbayad ka habon. Ay, ikaw naman nagbayad mo yun. Ako, 10 times ako nag I love you sa'yo a day. Ikaw, 3 times na. Ha? Bakit ikaw, 10 minutes bago ka mo ka mag-reply? Alright, mga ka-HR Beshis, congratulations. Ngayon, alam mo na kung paano magsulat ng formal resume. So with that, please remember to write your resume in a way that you would want your hiring manager have that first impression on you. Ano ba gusto mo unang makita sa'yo? And remember that that when writing your resume, it must be specific to the, to the role that you're applying for. See you again next time as we will provide more tips about how to level up despite of the crisis. Please follow and like us and subscribe on our YouTube channel at Your HR Beshies. And please also follow and like us here on our Facebook page. At kung marami pa kayong mga friendships na marami rin katanungan pagating sa kanilang career, don't you worry, we are here so again. Remember to write your resumes with feelings.